Rolling finally? Wait for it to eat dinner? We're rolling. You're rolling finally? Yep. You can't be getting cold. Jeez. I won't be getting cold. You are correct. So this is a 84D case. Where was it made? Uh, 94. There you go. It's an early case though, doesn't matter. Anyway, so this is our mock-up motor. That's why you keep junk cases laying around. This time I'm going to use a gasket. We didn't use a gasket before. Alright, so this is a not exactly the same case. As you can tell. We're going to use it. <clears throat> Every case will put the pinion bushing in a different spot. <clears throat> That's slight misalignment. <clears throat> is what's causing our uh, binding, I'm sure. Because when you got to shove the crank down, you know, in the hole, you shove it down, it makes it at an angle so you it'll wear in a high spot. And we only get wear on the, inside, on the outside edge. Mm -hmm. Also wear on the inside edge. We only see that mark on the outside, not the inside. So that's a misalignment mark. There's no way to exactly do that unless you bore every hole on center on the bushings which you, know, you ain't gonna do Harley can do that at their factory if they make everyone the same but they don't think they make anything it's the same at the factory so that's the problem you put these new bushings in there you never know where things come in at okay now this has not been adjusted since the last one I did but I don't know if this is the last one I did, so. Looks like it is. I was trying to run it in by hand. That's where those marks are right now. You hear Mm-hmm. Okay, so obviously that went right in there with no problem. All right, so I'm now going to give it a little bit of more diameter to it. Find the L that goes in here. Not that one. It's about that much more, see? So I'm about an eighth of a turn. Mm -hmm. So I didn't take off much there, did I? Mm -mm. Okay. I'm going to take off a couple tenths probably. I don't think that's going to be enough to do what we want. What do you want I just used? So I'll give it just another little bit more extra. Could use power tools for this. You could. Yeah, you could. This is the hand fitting. This is hand reaming, yes. Literally hand reaming. Mm -hmm. See how much more chip came out that time? Oh, yeah. Let's get that out of there. Okay. So that was probably a good quarter of a towel. Increase in hole size? You wouldn't think that'd be very much, would you? I'm surprised about the amount of the amount of chips actually. Oh, 
with my hand. Dude, I had a power tool going. I hate the hell out of it. That would. That would. That would make difference. That would. That would. That would make difference because the ringer sets the size, not the. Right. Not how you turn it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Makes it sound like it's better, but yeah, it's just what you adjust it to is what it costs. Okay, let's see if I can get this thing off of here. Okay. So you can still see the low spot in there. So yeah, much, yeah. How much we dropped that line by about twenty thousand? <laughs> right. <laughs> not much of a cut. So we're not making massive changes in sizes here. I want to maintain that oil pressure. We're trying to keep it as up as high as we can. Yes, we are. Okay, now. That's literally got twice as much jiggle to the one I had before. That little bit I gave it. Mm -hmm. That's twice as much. Okay. Now this plug fit is the dowels going over, not. Right. Well, most of it's in dowels, we don't really want to move on it. It's still there, obviously. Let's see, I don't need that one. So. Give this another test fitting. I'm looking to be half the reduction of drag is what I'm looking for. I don't want any more than half what I had. You can also not put anything else in here. Nothing else is hooked up. Even the breather spring came out, so I don't have there. So you put all your parts so you can know where to go. So if you see them sitting over there, like those little set screws that go in the cranks, if you know they're sitting there, there's probably a reason. There's a motor missing with one of those. <laughs> Oops. And I've actually pulled them apart to see if they were in there when I see them laying there like that. That's an extra one. Spares for the next guy. Yeah, well, the problem is <laughs> you got to remember there's a spare there. If you don't, you think it's missing, and you're screwed. Take the motor part, or in my case, I go look at the video and see if there's one in there. There we go. I can cheat now with the video. It saves me time. I'm not even trying to pull the case now, see, so it's still... Yeah, it's much, much better. It's a long way from free floating up like right. it should be. It should go back up on its own. Still don't like it. Give it one more, t one more test for me. Yeah. It's loose enough, it's an alignment issue. Make it loose you want. If it still binds, it still binds. Basket still hanging. <laughs> That's a big difference in drag. So now let's 
Just a little bit over here on the side of the crank right here. Side now. Looks like he's got an eyebrow on that one side. He does have a big eyebrow. What I don't see is where the hell is Gra hit at. I saw where it was hitting, I can cheat with the rim a little bit and cut that little area away, but I don't see a single damn mark in there that I can identify. So I put lappy comb it in and lap it in, but the problem with lapping compound is uh, it embeds in the bushing and never quits lapping. Mm -hmm. The gift that keeps on giving. Yeah. But I do have some special stuff that breaks up. Never used it for this application though. It, would, uh, it dissipates. Instead of being made out of a silicon carbide or something like that. It's probably made out of some kind of sand rock material so it pulverizes and goes away with time. I have some of it. I don't know if that's going to help us. So. Alright. Um, try some more and see if we get a mark in here. Wiped everything off. Yeah, run it dry. See if you, it'll. Yeah. Yeah. See if we get some kind of an idea of a mark. Actually, sure that can be. Uh... Can you put a sharpie? Yeah, that's what I just thinking of. Huh. If you mark it a little bit. All right. You want to stay there? Or stay there. Okay, which side goes where? You see you'd sharpie the inside of the bushing? Do it on everything. Hmm. I'm gonna find it out. I don't have one that's gonna fit inside that hole, I don't think. Also use compression bluing, kind of more what this is made for. And what is that? Take them. Phew, that stinks. The kids used to get high on. in there now, see? Wow, wow, that is powerful. Oh, I missed it. You picked up the aroma now? Oh, yeah. So do you, uh, do you let that stuff tack up or dry up all the way, or does it really matter? Yeah. Didn't take long. Got a lot of, uh, Something that's pretty strong, xylene or MHA, or whatever holds inside that shit. <laughs> Probably some kind of a lot of xylene and shit like that. Some thing. The thing is, it has a, it has texture to it. You know, it has thickness. So. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a, something there. 
also. It has to dissipate away itself to begin with. So it'll be like an oil simulator. No, that's not kind of my problem. I want to leave a mark on it, but not rub itself completely off. So mm -hmm. <laughs> you have to have enough clearance for it to have it in there. So only the rub part goes away, not the whole damn thing. Right. I think we have enough clearance that should do what we need. Still thick in here. That should be enough to do what we need. Hmm. Yeah, but where was that? That's the problem. Still wet. Didn't dry up yet. It's tacky right now. We cut the air supply off when we stuck it in there, so it kind of masked the effect of what we needed. But see, it's the thing, you don't really see it being a problem. Wait a minute. At the back of the bush. Well, way down in there, there's a little spot, yeah. It's, yeah. That's the only thing I see. Okay. I could have done that when I pulled it off. Hmm, good point. I think as much as binding it would have left more of a mark, even initially. Yeah, if it was truly binding. I know it's binding, it's just how much and where. You want to run some air through it while you're... No, I'm looking at how much that bushing is actually hanging out. We actually have a lot of shafts sticking out of that bushing. That mark we're getting mm -hmm. is not a mark. That is a... Where the outside lines at? Let's see the camera. See how much the bushing is seen in there? Yeah. 
Can we see oh, wow. We can see that whole shaft yeah. we can see in there, see. That's a lot. So that thing doesn't penetrate all that far down in there. Well, they got longer stub in them for both purposely for these motors. So that line we've seen was just the outside oil line. That was an actual wear line. So. You know, it, is, it does show the residue being left. And that's what that line is we're seeing. But it's not a rub line. It's just where the oil settles to. I'm surprised that it doesn't go as far as I thought it would. It's still a lot of drag. Gonna pry it off. It's gonna tilt like this a little bit. Right. I think that's and then it's gonna put that mark right there. Uh, it might or that it might, might or that might be the line. Yeah, that's the only spot that's even got mm -hmm. a mark on it. It's a little bit light right there, but not through it. There's a little bit of something right over here. Right, which would not be a pry mark mm -hmm. because it, you're you're going the other way. Yeah. So it's definitely off. Well, it's hard to do. I'm prying right up against this bushing. Hmm. See, that chair's what I'm pulling off with. So there's your mark on the shaft. So it's definitely on the outer edge of the bushing like we thought it was. Mm -hmm. Not on the inner edge. But... And there's no way to taper that, huh? No. Well, tapering is caused by this alignment. So if it's been in the shaft that way, that's where you're getting a mark. Open the bushing up isn't the answer. It's an alignment issue, not a mm -hmm. size issue. <clears throat> you know, I think most of our problem is down in this area. So basically aim for this corner right here with a reamer. All right, let's go see if we can uh, cheat the hole a little bit over there. All right. See if we can take a half and a barrel, a quarter of a barrel off in the area where it needs to come off, not the whole stinking bush. So this needs to be in this bottom corner between these two bolt holes. That's where we need to be at. Can you tap it that away as it set as you bolt it down? I'm thinking about it. if you put a little shim right here, it would tilt the cover up. So it would tilt it. So you cut the whole taper. You need to. You would cut it at an angle, but I don't like that method. I got no control of what yeah. I'm doing. I'd probably go the wrong direction on me. It's kind of be just it's gotta be just a feel thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay, 
place. We want to go toward this edge right here. So in toward here. So I'm basic toward this breather area. out. The weight of this is naturally going down, see? So actually putting that yeah. pressure too. Yeah. It looks like you're in about this far. This is definitely making more of a cut than it was now. See how deep we are? Mm hmm I think I was on this part here mm -hmm. initially. Okay. That's called cheating. if all of a sudden I got a big drop and drag. <laughs> if it's not square and true, then you gotta make it you gotta cut it unsquare and true. So yeah, that's basically. the fine that's fine tuning. We're fine tuning it all right. Yeah. We just screwed it up to replace it again. It's a fine line between fixing it and junking it out. <laughs> You have to do it three or four times, it turns into junk. Not an improvement. Well, I'm feeling pretty good about it. You're just wishful thinking. Yeah, I'm pretty optimistic that that was the right amount of force and the right amount of angle. My hour of the day is good now. <laughs> <laughs> Right moon mango angle too. That's in right. <laughs> the day that ends in Y. There you go. And all the all the stuff lines up. Perfect. Everything's lining up. <laughs> it's gonna work now, right? Yeah. All right. Sure. Damn straight. We'll see. You never know. Sometimes these things do all of a sudden start to work correctly after you rig it up enough. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. You know, last one I had was this bad. I went and got a went and grabbed a takeoff cover off my shelf, stuffing the motor turned perfect. <laughs> <laughs> we just swapped out the cover. He was happy. <laughs> the cover looked better than what he had anyway. Yeah, that's how we fixed the last one. It was like this. Because the bushings go in high, but they want to go in. You got no control. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's not getting any better.
Yep, not getting no better. What do we got? Who knows? You can see the marks better, better but it's definitely a laminate issue. You can see it's worn on the outside of the shell or the inside of one spot because it's binding. It's hard to tell where it's actually wearing because I, I cut the balloon out when I did the reamer. Yeah, I don't know. This isn't. It's not working. I can get loose of the goose now. See how loose it is? Mm hmm. Hundred percent alignment issue. All right. All right. That bushing's a no go. We try something different. Bushing. There's a $50 bushing you want. Mm. Let's get the uh, paperweight. Yep. Just another junk one. Doesn't work. Alignment issues. Until I make dedicated tooling or have some kind of board directly on center, I'm going to put up with this crop like this. All you got to do is be a few thousands off the center and that's all we're talking about. Just a few thousand off. Cause binding. But to get a little wear in, or you trying to fix it. So last time I did this, it didn't make any difference. I had the same problem as done. Tools fit in this stupid ass light motors. Okay. This tool doesn't push evenly, so that cocks it. Kicks it off center a little bit. Any of these things makes a difference in how they go together. And the reamer is going to follow the whole how the new bushing is made. So if the bushing is not made right, you're screwed. You're sneaking in over there. 
Well, it's Tricky Ricky. Hey, what's going on? Your fans are going to be happy. What's that? Your fans are going to be happy. Oh, yeah. You're not dead. Yeah, oh, well. Close to it, though. Close? <laughs> Close is okay. I'm down to... I'm down to taking a bus now, so a bus? yeah, I I got codes in my truck, uh -oh. and I got a code rear, and I cannot clear those codes, just like when I couldn't get a phone, you know, yeah. you just gotta wait till it happens. Okay. Did I go in straight? That would appear to be in straight. I doubt it. It'll probably still won't work, but we'll try it. You're one of God has a positive attitude, aren't you? Yeah. Hopeful thinking. See, I know it's all screwed up, so. How's it been going? Oh, not too bad until I got back on this motor tonight. Stupid Camelot bushing line. What a stroke is this one? Stock. Stock? Yeah. Let's see, the other tool's over there already. Isn't it? Okay, where's my ringers? Girls. Oh, looks good. Yeah, it looks as deceiving. We'll see. I'll let you know in about 15 minutes, maybe 10 minutes. Are we in a hurry? We're in a hurry, aren't we? Ten minutes. It's a ten minute bushing change. Oh, grab me that gasket over there. The shovel, huh? Okay, we're going to use the gasket, see if that makes any difference. Is it on the motor still? Nope. Somewhere. Round, about six by eight inches. Oval shape. Looks like a gasket. That didn't help. It's somewhere. Look up on the gasket board or somewhere. Is it up there? Not under it. Playing somewhere. Uh, oh, oh, got it. Friend in front of your nose? Yeah, that looks like the one. Yeah, I think that's it. I'm surprised that thing survived. I know. We're going to keep reusing it until it fails. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I just thought I'd stop by. Yeah, good to see you again. Yeah. It's tough with the <laughs> when you're down to a bus. <laughs> uh, you know, I got I don't know how many motorcycles, and I got I don't know how many cars, and you think one of them could run? No. No, not a chance. Because one don't run, but another one will. But I can't get it out of the driveway because I got five cars in front of it. There you go. Oh shit! You're fired now. <laughs> that doesn't go in there. He figured it out. See, he figured it out. Now you got dirty, yeah. though. Oh, yeah, it won't be the first time in my life. That's not the first time in your life you got your hands <laughs> no, dirty? No. Won't be the last either. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> you know, unless I kick the bucket. Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to go. All right, nice seeing you either way. Yeah, well, I'm going to get back on the bus. <laughs> Take the trolley, it might be quicker. Yeah, that's true. But then I gotta go this way, and then I gotta get off and get on a bus to go that way. Oh, geez. So, yeah, that's too much work. All right, take it easy. All right. Okay. Yeah, Eric's got problems again. He works to him eventually. Like we all do. That end goes up there.
Okay, that one's done. Before I get to that size. Yep. We're already at that size. Come back a little bit. Alright, now I'm gonna go check it. Oh. Jackpot! I got the winning number right here. It's a zero. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna clean this up. We'll be back. All right. <laughs> kind of the bottom. A little bit more. Oh, way down there. There we go. Yeah, it's wet down there. That's where the cleaner's at. Yeah, that's it. Oh, look at that. It came right off now. There we go. Imagine that. Most of it came off. Mm -hmm. Enough. Okay, so this bush now has more of an eyebrow than the last one had. Yeah, about yeah, a little bit less. See the big eyebrow? Mm hmm. Okay, let's see if all this fits on here. A little bit, a little bit snug. So that's pretty snug, yeah. A little bit tighter than you like it to be. <laughs> a little snugger than it should be, right? We need to maybe loosen it up a little bit. <clears throat> should we try to uh, should we try to run it to see what kind of markings we can get on it? It's not gonna matter. Too tight to run, so that's why the eyebrow isn't very deep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna go back and open up the ringer a little bit and open her up. Gonna sneak up on the sweet spot again. Problems every motor, every cam cover has a different locations for everything. There's always a tolerance, and the tolerance stack is what screws you. You can be a little bit off here and there on all, all the spots, and it just screws everything up. <clears throat> and that's assuming the bushing manufacturer put their hole in center. If it's off, you're really screwed. All those little alignments all. Yeah, everything makes a difference. If the bushing cocks on the cover a little bit, that kicks it over. That screws you right there. Any and all of those combinations is what kicks you over. If you have dedicated tooling, we drill, you drill, you reamed on center or bored on center, each hole, mm -hmm. <clears throat> exactly to a standardized number. Then you would hope everything else will line up when you're done, but. I haven't made tooling like that yet. First, you gotta get blueprints from Harley to see what the hell the numbers are supposed to be, which of course they don't hand out. So if anybody has any of those, I can use them. So, <laughs> so you have to know where the dowel pins are and where your two center lines of points are at, and then you can make a tool right on the center. So, naturally, they don't like giving out information like that because that'd be trade secret or some stupid ass thing. They got some excuse where they can't. Give you information that matters. Uh, this isn't going to ring this way. See the problem yet? Uh, yeah. 
figured it out? Oh, yeah, I got it. Oh, we're upside down. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it looks a lot better from this angle. <laughs> Rewind the tape. We can edit that out. We can edit that? I haven't ruined it yet. <clears throat> well, I edited it. We already had enough to screw up, so. <laughs> so, shit happens. What do you got to do to make it work so it matters, right? Mm hmm. Let me get in there. What you do to make it work. If it works the first time, you're lucky. Mm. Sportsers used to be the worst, but I got them down pretty good now. Now it's the big twins screw with me. It used to be the big twins were easy, now they, they don't seem to work anymore. Let me go back and forth in the cycles. It's either me or all the or materials I'm using, I'm not sure which. I keep making my tools better and it doesn't seem to make that big of a difference. <clears throat> I'm sure it does, but it just doesn't seem like it. It doesn't feel like it all, uh, some days, huh? When you got problems, you got problems. It doesn't matter what it is. Okay, let's see how tight this one is this time. Okay, bushing's a little bit deeper now. Die brow. Should be a nice fit this time. It still gets tight. Hmm. Looks like it's tapered or something too. I'm gonna stand that up. tight. That is tapered. Maybe the shaft is tapered. It shouldn't be. Same all the way through. <clears throat> it's hard to believe the reamer is causing a taper condition. Hmm. Whatever we did, it didn't make any difference. It's still tight as hell. I don't think there's any difference. It didn't seem like it made any change. It might have made a slight change because the cover did slightly go on all the way. <laughs> Still no clearance. I'm pretty sure I went through the whole bushing several times. The 
I never feel like it's cutting anything, it's just dragging, but I'm sure there's more chips on that ring right in there. Yeah. Of course if I clean it off it'll show better, but A little looser there, huh? Down here it is. So now we're back like we were the first time when we. Yeah, it's getting started. back to where it needs to be. Where we started, nice and snug. Mm hmm. Okay, so now we go ahead and do a trial fit. Seems a little bindy to me. A little tight. Well, I need to loosen it up just slightly. Yeah. Does it seem to be consistent, or is it just tight? Yeah, it's just tight. Whatever it is, it's pretty consistent. so you can really see anything. Pretty clean. You see a couple of rags floating around somewhere. <laughs> All right. Warm. See how much you cut.
if something came off. That's good. That's a good sign. The eyebrows dropping down slightly, but not by much. Okay, we're a nice race fit right now. How loose it is. Mm hmm. It's not popping on. Yeah. Changed. Same deal. All right. Heavy drag. Just solid drag in it. Change one bit. Just heavy everywhere. Damn. No different from the last portion. Just did a big time alignment issue. Big time. Bam. Fuck. Wait just a second. 